everybody and welcome back my name is sue and i'm from oml embroidery before we get started could someone send a link to this video and put it in the oml embroidery university facebook group because it seems to be youtube is just not on the ball i've had a hard time this morning and i'm pretty sure i didn't send the link so if someone could do that for me I would really appreciate it. So today we are going to do something completely different, Monty Python. And now for something completely different. It is going to be a lot of fun. This is the newest design, uh, country flower, kind of like a life cycle of the country flower. It's budding. It goes all the way up to full flower. I like this one too and full flower and then the petals are falling off so lots of fun you guys can have with this tons of fun what i did for the petals because all the petals um are the same size so i cut them all out before i started and wow did that make a difference and i'm like all right i need to do a video to remind everyone get back to your cutters. And if you don't have one, I mean, that's fine. I'm just talking about the people who have one and aren't using it. So I'm going to say good morning to everyone. Soon embroidery friends from Claire, Misha, 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 Isabel from France, Ronog. Hello, Ronog. Always nice when you're here. Maureen says good morning and jude yay jude and miley hi miley i hope you're having a good day um <coughs> so there's not going to be any stitching but this is going to be cool nonetheless chris yost hello joyce booze hello uh tis but a scratch oh, i know you're not the black knight though you're not and we don't want to scratch anything right so we're going to talk about how to get your design from your machine to the cutter. Now, there's so many ways of doing this. I'm going to do the way that I have. You can send it from your computer to the cutter. You can send an F SVG from the computer. to. The there's many ways. So whatever one that you use, your machine, I have a... Let's see, what's the number? SDX325. And that means it's one of the top ones, but it can read PES files. That's all it means. Just it reads PES files. And then I have the connection. Um, or shall I taunt you a second time? Your mother smells of elderberry. Yeah, shh, stop. I could go on. DX225, Leah, same thing. This is just an update for it. I don't know what the difference was, but I got it anyways. So make sure, make sure you know what your machine can do. So I'm going to take a design from Captain Jack, the Luminaire, and bring it over here, and then we're going to cut it out. So I'm going to show you guys. Hi, Isabel was buying the design from Sue. Thank you, Julie. Thank you. I appreciate it. Any help is... Um, wonderful beyond this point so before we start i want to talk about the blades so each blade on this one has a different color now this one is for fabric and it's a little it's a little cutter just a cutter like normal but set up for um fabric now this one is it is a wheel so uh yeah it's going to be used in different ways to start i'm going to use the rotary cutter wheel whatever so i'm just going to leave that like that and we're going to go over to the machine and i'm going to show you how to do it on the machine and again little bee says hi aunt sue hi little bee hello <laughs> Awesome. Jill, welcome. I'm glad you're here. I don't know if you know what we're doing. We're sending a PES design with one thing so we can cut out the petals 
to our brother scan and cut SDX325. And like I said, remember, you don't have to have a cutter to do any of this. You can pre-cut your designs with um, uh, one of Dime's um, placement stickers, you know, that you print out and cut around. I mean, there's a million ways to do it. Um, I'm just going to show you how I do it. So let's go over to the machine and we're going to have a different view here. So try not to panic. There we go. The luminaire that took me forever to figure this out. And I've called up my design. Now, the only thing that looks different, uh, I'm not sure how well you can see it, is all of the petals are the same. But look, this one is a different color. It's lighter and it is... A little bit harder to see, but all you need is one. Now, what on earth is that? That is the brother code for applique. So if you don't have it anywhere, you go into edit and you go into color and just simple embroidery. And look, here's the three right down here. So you want to mark it with the pink one. And once you do that, then your scan and cut will be able to read it. Cricut machine, yes, absolutely. They are wonderful. They cut really well as well. Um, I have to get a new one because mine doesn't Bluetooth anymore and it drives me nuts because I have to plug it to my computer and I'm never near it. So once you turn one of these into an applique, brother can read that it is an applique and knows that that's what you want to cut out. So that's all you have to do. If you don't do it, it's going to give you the whole thing and you won't be able to do it. So once we've established that, and I know because I designed this, all of these things are, the petals are exactly the same size. So we don't need to worry at all. So how do we get it to our machine? Um, I often struggle with this part, but it's under memory because there's only so many things you can do here. It's under memory. So we have our normal memory things, but down here at the bottom is a picture of our cutter and the Wi-Fi signal. So memory cutter. And I'm not doing anything else. So do you wish to replace the existing data, data with new data? Yes. Now you can only send one thing at a time. You can save whatever you want to your um, machines memory but you can only send one thing so if you send one and then send another only the second one is going to be there so I'm gonna go and hit transfer and it's done so now let's go back to the machine and I'm gonna zoom right in so you guys can see now it automatically turns off um, we'll just get it going back on again there we go so everyone with me so far everyone uh ba, 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 ba. i love a scan and cut i would love a scan. it's quite cool you'll be surprised how much you use it so now we have to find the design so we're not scanning they have a whole bunch of quilt patterns just by the way uh roll feeder no region emboss no my connection pretty clear there's a sewing machine right sewing machine so we're going to click on that and are we sending because you can send from this machine over to captain jack but <coughs> excuse me for this one we're retrieving so where are we retrieving it from so there's a picture of the machine you guys can see it or this machine now it's coming from the sewing machine so far, so good. Now look what it comes up with. It's retrieving it. It comes up with the picture. Now that doesn't look like it's going to do anything, but this is the button you pick. And look, there's our one pedal. That's all we need is our one pedal. Isn't that great? If there was more than one, it would have it A, B, C, D, or if there's parts of it, um, but this one, we just, now that is the pedal that we, um, 
you know, told brother that it was applique. So, so far, that's not difficult at all. So let's go to OK. Now, this is only one pedal. So um, we can, we're going to go into this later and figure out how many to do. So I'm going to go ahead and set it. And look, you can, well, you guys can't see it, but it's there. It's there. Um, it's there. It's right there. So I want to go into edit and I want to um, object edit and look at all these things you can do. But first I want to rotate it. No particular reason, just easier for me to see, I guess. So I've rotated it. I wish you guys could, I guess you can see it a little bit. Uh, rotate it and then the other thing we want to do is to make it a little bit bigger. So this when we transfer it over we haven't done anything to it is the exact same size as the applique. So what's that going to mean? It's not going to stitch down the fabric. So we need to make it a tiny bit bigger and not a whole lot because we don't want the fabric going out of the line. So I have this in inches, so I'm just going to add two to it. And if you notice, um, both, there you go. There, that looks better. So it's just a smidgen bigger. Leah says, what if you don't have a luminaire? How do you get it to your machine? I have a Solaris and it doesn't talk to my scan and cut. Uh, then you can do it from the computer or you can put it on a zip drive and bring it over to it. So as long as whatever cutter you have can read PES files, you're good. Otherwise on the computer, then figure out, um, figure out how much bigger it needs to be, that sort of thing. So th there's a million ways of doing it. And in fact, I'm going to show you two ways of cutting. Um, would this work with the baby lock meridian? I have no idea if you have available my connection. That's what this whole thing is ca called. Then yes, I don't know about all the machines. It's just something, um, um, Sorry, Sue, I missed it, but can I buy the Country Flower Table Runner all at once? Yep, all the pieces are included. 5x5, five 6x6, by 8x8, five, six by six, eight by eight, and 10x10 ten ten sizes are all right there. So yes, definitely. So if we wanted to cut out one, that's okay. If we wanted to cut out more, we can add them. So how about four? That should give us an adequate amount. Now, I don't have any of my tools in this thing for some reason. So I'm just going to move them with my fingers. Sorry, it's a bit awkward, but I don't know where any of it is. So I'm going to just hi press, highlight, move it down. And I'm going to move this one over. So I have it set up like this. There we go. So I'm going to do four, for example. Now, if you're using different colors, you can still use the scan and cut with different colors. Why? Because you can stand, scan the fabric. You could put half red, half blue, and it'll scan it and show on the background. So you could move it around or little squares or you know a different square for each petal. You can do it. And it's just a matter of scanning it and place it where you want. So there we go. We're good on that. Now comes the question um, of what, how, what we are going to do. So there's two ways. If you have, uh, there we go. This, I am going to move the camera back. Sorry, I didn't have enough room for all this. This is the Brother fabric mat and it's brown. It says old. I have a new one, but I can't find it. And it is, you can just cut fabric, just cut the fabric. That's it. You don't need to do anything else. So I literally just put my fabric right on the mat and that's it. There's no backing. There's no ironing. There's nothing. And for this one, we want to use 
the rotary cutter. So do I have that one in? I'm pretty sure I do. I'm gonna double check the one. Oh, I found, and I found, they were hiding. All right, goodness gracious. So I'm gonna double check, but I know because the fabric mat one has um, um, same color, brown. So hopefully you guys can see this well enough. I could get my scan and talk, cut to, to talk to my dream machine too. Yes, yes. I have the 2030DX and it's sad to have to purchase another machine. Um, but you don't have to, you just won't be able to talk like this. You don't, but you don't have to, you could still do it with, uh, you know, a zip drive on your computer, right? So if you don't have it, don't worry. So rotary cutter and fabric mat with just a plain, um, just a plain piece of fabric for sure. So now we're going to hit OK. We're going to do four of them and please select. And we are going to cut, although I love the drawing bit. Um, you can test it if you want, but I'm going to go ahead and start. Now, this is going to get a little bit noisy, but it's OK. And uh, make sure you have enough room back and forth to be able to do it. So, yes, thank you guys, uh, Cindy West and Sally. The USB works just fine. You do not have to have the connection. It's It doesn't make any difference. I just happened to have it. So I traded in my 225 for the 325. That's the only reason. And the only reason, too, is that I do videos. So, so remember, this is the rotary cutter going nice and smooth easy easy there we go makes a good noise now it takes four minutes it tells you right on the screen four minutes to cut them out and it kind of back and forth all over the place but it's getting the rotary cutter to turn so the other thing that's really cool is you have to use these mats for sure because the machine reads them and it also reads the thickness of your fabric so it's all automatic so it knows what fabric what thickness of fabric and what pressure you do it's mindless you don't have to worry about it um, at all. So this is the easy way of doing it. So hopefully you guys have followed any questions. I know, I know everyone thinks you, you don't have to have this one. It works. It works a million ways. Even if you send it from your computer or plug your computer into it, then it's fine. It's still the end result will be the same. Like I'm always saying, use what you've got, right? You don't have to have all this. I happen to, there won't be any more of that. I happen to, but you don't have to have it. You don't even have to have a cutter. It's just kind of fun. It's kind of fun for sure. So I can't really see the cutting, but we shall see in a minute. So also reminder, when you are using your cutter, make sure you have, see this bottom tray right here? That has to be flat on a surface. You can't have it hanging over a surface. And there has to be enough room behind. So there we go. Did I put anything on the back of your fabric? I did not. This is um, not new, but relatively new. You can only do it this with the um, uh, Brother Fabric Mat, and it really does work best with the rotary cutter. So you can use the um, you can use the um, other blade, but this works way better. the The best for cutting fabric, but it doesn't read PES files, is the Cricut. Suzanne says, I have a brand new scan and cut in the box. I haven't had a chance to play with it yet. Well, get playing, girl. 
Yeah, playing. One of my favorite things to do is the writing. So, uh, and drawing. I think it's really cool to draw an embroidery design. I think it's a whole lot of fun, for sure. So we should be almost done. We're kind of getting there. One minute left. The other one will be a little bit faster, and we're going to change it up a little bit. So, um, yeah, it's cool. So nothing on the back of it. The next one, I have some of my favorite stuff. I love this. Fusion stick, and that's what I used for uh, the one that I did. Is it cutting the petals? Yes, yes. I sent it over Lynn, and I added a little bit to it, and it's cutting out the petals. I cut out, there we go. I cut out, let's see, like 50 of them before. So... Now, I don't have the right tools to do this nicely, so I'm just going to take it. And look at that. Isn't that awesome? So those petals, my little tool, um, isn't that cool? It's a little awkward here. So it's better if you have a wider scraper, but you have to be careful. But look, it's a petal. And it's perfect and you can iron them you could do anything but I cut out you can see here I cut out uh, you could see just like a little bit of the outline um, and uh, it's I cut out like however many of them like I think there was 50 or something because I was doing um, different things so petals coming straight from your embroidery machine. So it's awesome. Now, if you don't have that groovy set up, here's what I'm going to do. Now this one, the fabric is face down and it has the fusion stick on it. So what is that? You fuse it to the fabric and then you can peel it off and it sticks and that is a huge time saver and I love it so for this one now I didn't have another um, brother mat unfortunately so I'm just going to use the standard mat I'm going to take the um, rotary cutter off and I am going to put pop in the um, cutter for fabric so fabric cutter he doesn't like to fit in there no we still don't like to fit in there come on bub there we go so this is going to be a little bit different but remember face down uh now if you're putting something face down you should uh definitely reverse it right so yeah um, then you can, I'm not going to reverse mine because I know they're all symmetrical, but make sure that's a thing, mirror it, flip it. So we're going to cut, it knows what it has in it and it's just going to do it. Now this one takes one minute and it's auto pressure. So this is completely different than, um, the other one. So ready? So different blade it has you know the fabric face down sticky and nice so let's go it says one minute let's see how it does so this first part it's just measuring the thickness because it is a little thicker right so there we go that's what it's doing if you're wondering now it's cutting but I have hold on Okay, so what happened there is I don't have enough stick. I don't have enough stick. I thought it was stuck really well. So we kind of got a little bit of a cut. I thought it was sticky enough. Uh, I'm kind of hurting on finding everything is my problem. So I'm going to try to do it here with the fabric one. So give me a sec, ladies, give me a sec, because I need room to do this. I'm going to take 
the fabric one, which we know worked really well. And we're gonna do this again. So I just need to find my tools. So I just took the other petals off and I put this part on. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. Let's quick cutting. Okay, put the blade back in and try it. No, it's the mat. The mat is old and I don't have the right tools to, you know, press everything down. I found the brayer, but it's not that helpful. It, I just need to clean my mats. That's all. And I just didn't. I was happy I found the mats. So that was so much fun. Let's do it again. And this is stickier, so it should work. So never panic. Never panic. It just means that you uh, just start again. Yes, you can put tape on the edge. There's a lot of different things you can do to fix it, but I am just going to do it this way. Uh, I do, however, I'm going to go back because I have some cuts here just right on the edge. Edit, and I'm just going to move these dudes over. I think I can select them all, everything, and I'm just going to move them over a bit. Nothing spectacular. Just a bit. I know it'll still work just dandy. So, good enough. Good enough. So I just moved them over um, a little bit. That's all. Didn't change the size. Didn't change anything. So, okay. And please select. We are going to cut. And we are going to hope this works. Wish I had my tools. Really push it down. Stay. Stay. So uh, we can start. And it's going to do the same thing. There we go. Now, yes, if your um, mats are crappy mats like mine, then uh, put a little bit of tape on it. There we go. Much better. So there's one. No problems. It, it was it was my user error, not the machine. And you'll be surprised these ones cut out so beautifully. And it is way faster than the rotary cutter, right? So let's pop this out and I'm going to put this up here and we are going to do the same thing. This is, you know, normally I would use up the whole, the whole bit, right? The whole bit of fabric, but look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That still doesn't look like much because they are upside down. We want to see how beautiful. Oh, I hate this one. I need my better one. <gasps> look at that. All right, well, let me get the other ones off and I'm gonna show you the best part of Dimes Fuse and Stick. And again, I did them all for the other ones. See, they come off really nicely. So there you go, there's the lesson. Make sure, make sure your stuff is, uh, your mats are good. So there we go, we just put this up for an example. So you do the placement line for your petal, you know, when you're doing regular, regular, regular. Now, another thing to notice, this is nice and flat, and I'll grab one of the fabric ones. See, it's a little bit different. I mean, it's still not bad. You could still use it, but it would kind of be difficult. Um, and it has frayed edges. You probably can't see it. Now, these are nice, sharp these are nice sharp lines. So I like to do it this way. The only thing is just remember to mirror it. So hold on. Can we take this off? Apparently I did a good job ironing at least something, at least something. 
Uh, any questions? Can you show the dime product? Um, yes, I have to go find it though. Well, no, I don't because I have it in a nice container. It is dime fuse and stick and it's just uh, one of their stabilizers. But I can go grab it after. It's not in their normal box. I have it in a container that I use. One of the dispensers. There we go. So that took a second, hot minute. So look, can you see it's shiny? So placement stitch, and then I would place this down. Now look, it sticks, and I push it down. Now, if it's not in the right spot, uh, you can move it. It's not a permanent thing. So, you know, something like that. But nice and flat, nice sharp lines, you know, the whole bit. So that is my preferred way of doing applique. I love the fuse and stick. So a little bit stiff and nice and sticky. And it works, but this also works too. So whatever way you guys are sending to your cutter, you can do it. You can do it. Um, easily, easily do it. You just have to know and you just have to size. And one thing I did do, here's some good preventative advice. <laughs> if you're doing something like this from the computer, uh, because I sent it right from my machine, I know, um, does the fuse and stick gum up your needle when sewing? Not even a little bit, by the way, not even a little bit. Um, when you're doing something like this and you're changing the size just a tiny bit, it doesn't even um, matter, uh, do one or two and make sure it's going to fit where you want it to because what are you going to do with, you know, a whole bunch of them um, and they're the wrong size. So that's my advice of the day. Just do one or two. It's a scan and cut, so you scan and cut it. You don't have to waste any material or give yourself any problems. And then make sure it's right. All you have to do is stitch out, skip on your machine to the placement, and there you go. See, that does work pretty well. It's not going to move. It's not stuck like this one stuck, but it'll still work. You could put a little bit of you know, what kind of, wherever kind of glue on the back is fine. But see, it does basically stay where you want and it looks great. So I'm saying if you have a cutter, then get using it. That's, that's all this was about. And for something like this, it just made everything delightful because every single, um, petal is the same. And it was actually a lot of fun, believe it or not, to sit here and stick them down. And I thought, you know what? It would be really, really, really cool to do a couple of um, rows in different colors. So uh, like rainbow colors, red, blue, orange, yellow, green, that sort of thing, I think that would be really nice and you could make a very big wall hanging um, uh, with it. Or you could do just these flowers in a quilt square in all different colors. That would look great too. So um, yeah, use what you've got. You do not have to have the top end. It's rather convenient, but it's also rather expensive. So if you find you use it all the time, then it's worthwhile. If you only use it once in a while, then just use what you got. It, it'll take you a few minutes more, but the end result is gorgeous no matter what you do. So um, you guys get uh, cutting and this is the perfect design to um, start it on right here because each petal is the same and, uh, you know, it's good practice for placement and your raw edge applique looks perfect. If you notice that perfect and it's a time saver. So show me, show me what you got once you do the cutting. 
remember, use what you got. You can use your computer, you can use a zip drive, the whole bit. Um, go ahead and go to omlembroidery.com and get this design. It's really cute. You can do so much with it. I stitched out one of each block uh, because I wanted to show you guys what it is, but you don't have to. This country flower is absolutely um, adorable. Um, let's see. Thank you so much, Sue. I'm inspired. I just love following you. Yeah, thank you. Very informative video. Thank you. I, I may just need a scan and cut. Yeah, uh, if you're going to use it, then yes, it's worth it. It's really worth it. I honestly had a lot of fun doing this. And I'm going to park my scan and cut right near Captain Jack. And uh, so I can, you know, use it more often. It's right there. So just change it to applique, send it over, cut what you need. There you go. So Suzanne, I'm, I'm going to get mine out of the box today. Yay! Now don't be afraid of it too. You're not going to cut your fingers off or do anything like that. Just make sure your mats are sticky and go to town. That's all you need to do. Um, fabric, if you don't have the fabric and the rotary cutter, then um, you have to do what I did on the second bit, which, you know, it's not actually a problem. So, yes, get shopping, get cutting. You guys will have tons of fun. It's easier than you think, and it's fantastic. So the members, the group members, yay, group members. I will see you guys in uh, about 45 minutes for our class. Uh, so join me if you're a tier two member, join me. And uh, we tend to have a lot of fun and do exactly what we want. So questions, make sure you have questions. We'll figure it all out, guys. So get cutting, show me what you can do. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like this video and happy cutting. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.